Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea, reading on behalf of the Clearview Library District. As always, before we read stories, we have to get our wiggles out. Can you stand up for me, please? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears. And I wiggle my nose. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my chin. I stretch my arms wide and I pull them back in. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees. I hop like a bunny. And I smile and say, cheese. Now I have no more wiggles left in me and will sit on the floor as still as can be. All right, we have one of my favorite books today. This book is by Mara Bergman. It's illustrated by Nick Mayland, and it's called Snip Snap. What's that? Maybe it's gonna be a little bit scary. Sometimes reading scary books is fun. There's a desk. Looks like they're in the city. There's a man sitting at the desk. He's reading the, the newspaper. So he's not paying attention. <gasps> What's happening? <gasps> when the alligator came creeping, creeping, creeping up the stairs. <gasps> Were the children scared? You bet they were. Marissa tried to close the door. Eva tried and tried some more. And Jonathan, he didn't try at all. He just cried and cried and cried. And then he hid. Not a good hiding spot. The alligator's mouth was wide. Its teeth were long, its jaws were strong. The children watched as it began to bite the edges of the door. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Were the children scared? You bet they were. The alligator slithered, slithered, slithered down the hall and slipped into the living room. It swished and swooshed its tremendous tail, which was shiny and spiked and full of scales. And were the children scared? <gasps> you bet they were. The alligator's tongue was flicking the alligator's feet were kicking. The alligator's mouth opened up very wide. <gasps> Creak! As if to invite the children inside. Were the children scared? You bet they were! The alligator's eyes were flashing. The alligator's teeth were gnashing as tables and chairs and the piano went crashing. And after the sofa and curtains were ripped, the alligator licked its lips. Were the children scared? You bet they were. And then what did the alligator do? Did it say to the children, I'm going to eat you? Well, not exactly, but it came closer and closer and closer until <gasps> then the children decided they'd had enough of all the scary alligator stuff. They plucked up their courage and gave a great shout. Alligator, you get out.
And was the alligator scared? You bet it was. Thump, bump, thump, bump, thump. And the alligator went stumbling, tumbling, grumbling, swoosh. All the way home. The end. All right, can you stand up for me, please? A is for alligator, chomp, chomp, chomp. B is for ball, bounce, bounce, bounce. C is for circle, round and round. And D is for dizzy, all sit down. Nice job. All right, so sometimes we get scared. What are some other feelings or emotions that you can think of? Maybe happy, or sad, or angry, or surprised. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're sad and you know it, dry your eyes. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, dry your eyes. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, dry your eyes. If you're tired and you know it, go to sleep. If you're tired and you know it, go to sleep. If you're tired and you know it, then your face will surely show it. <gasps> if you're tired and you know it, go to sleep. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. Let's get our clapping hands out and say goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. For those who might want it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. Miss you all. Hope to see you soon.